Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and this reading is going to be for Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that will pop for you guys. This is going to be for Libra. Libra, you can check out the link in the description box which will take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you? their next moves towards you, outcome of the situation between the two of you, advice, oracle messages, love notes, guidance from spirit, and any other messages that you may need. What's happening next between you and your person? Okay, so do check it out. I'll be linking it below for you guys. Now let's see what do we have for Libra. Okay. So we have separation that fell on the floor and I did see chemistry right next to it. So here we have it, separation. I feel like right now there's no communication between you and somebody, all right? Um, you guys are not communicating whatsoever. There's distance between the two of you. I think you feel like fixing it. There seems to be a delay in the situation, Libra. Okay. To me, it looks like there's a certain situation in your life that you almost want to, you know, fix. You want to make something happen here. Um, something is making you sad. Let's see. Let's get your Parsons energy. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I feel like your person is not that open right now towards this, okay? So like I said, there's lack of communication on both of y'all's part. Somebody here has involvement of a new person uh, Libra, unrequited love and new love. There's not enough attraction to keep this relationship going. So the reason why your person is not opening up is because they feel like you don't love them anymore or you don't want them, okay? And they could be focused on somebody new. But I feel like this could be somebody coming your way as well. What is this new love energy? But as far as your person's energy is concerned, it's almost like the reason why they're so closed off is because they feel like you, maybe you don't want them anymore. Okay, point blank period. That is what I'm getting. I feel like <laughs> it's almost like somebody's using distractions here in the relation in the situation in order to forget about somebody but they're forgetting that there is a person here who is their true love okay it could be you or them somebody's trying to distract themselves by fo for, by focusing from the situation to something else but deep down inside they're still wanting the same person okay i really feel like there's that energy of a new person but I'm strongly getting that I'm getting that your person has a hard time opening up to you right now, not for you and then fork in the road. It could be you even, Libra, that you're reconsidering if the situation is for you or not. We have not for you here that jumped out of the deck. So I feel like something in your life, it could be about, it could even be about, you know, your business. There was something, some sort of a life decision. Like I said, this is your love situation, but this can be anything in your life, right? So something in your life turned out to be very different from what you expected. And it's like you had to make a choice about it. Okay. Observer. Exactly. Right now, I kind of see you having a look at, you know, things and trying to find a way with things, Libra. Okay. What do we have for Libra, please? 
We have a law of number four here, number 13, which is, a, which is a number four. We have number 49, which sums up to a number 13 again, which is a number four. So balance is the key here. Okay. What do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? I'm trying to give it a good shuffle before I pick up the card that fell on the floor like that. Let me just grab it. <laughs> okay, so the card was like playing a game with me. It was like the more I was trying to grab it, it was going farther away from me. So it could be the situation, your love situation even, you know, trying to make something happen and you both end up drifting apart. A very beautiful card actually fell on the floor, Libra. Two of Cups. Love. So your overall theme is love again. I do feel like there is a union here, but there is that feeling of I'm feeling a little left out, you know. Okay, I'll take it since it came again, the Five of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Two of Cups energy. What is this Two of Cups Eight of Swords. I feel like you could be stuck in your head about this connection. There's somebody you feel really, really connected to. Okay, Libra, it's like you haven't been able to forget about this person. Okay, but at the same time, right now, you may be feeling very left out by them with the Five of Pentacles energy. feel like somebody opened up here okay Libra there was communication between the two of you in the past maybe something did happen here the situation maybe you know moved forward between the two of you but I'm getting that it didn't really move forward that much so it's like something started but it also kind of like wasn't you know it couldn't last that long okay somebody had a trouble with you know taking that leap of faith towards something and there was a truth that came out as well. Maybe you opened up to somebody in the past and there was something you realized right now which is keeping you stuck. Because there is something on your mind constantly, Libra. Okay. Could be connecting with a Pisces or... We have a lot of signs here, but Pisces now is the significant one. Why the High Priestess? Why the High Priestess? Seven of Cups. I feel like somebody here has options in love. Somebody here has options in love, Libra. I feel like it could be you. But I'm also getting that if it's not options in love, I feel like there's a lot going on in your life right now that you're trying to figure out. And you are trusting your intuition, okay? With the high priestess energy. There is something that you are relying on intuitively. But at the same time, you know, I feel like there's a little bit of that hopelessness when it comes to this love connection. Um... It's almost like you're too confused, but where, where is it going? Okay. Let's see. I'm going to have to clarify them cards towards the end. Let me see. What is their person's energy? Ace of Cups. They do still want you, Libra. Look at this. They do still want you. The devil oh my goodness so there's that obsession actually it's not like they just want you there your person is low-key obsessed with you libra okay oh this person's wanting to be in your life like nobody's business yeah 
your person feels very attracted to you okay And right now, I feel like this person's obsessively thinking about you, okay? But they're not opening up because they feel like maybe you don't want the same thing. Your person feels like you two are not the same page, okay? Let me see, actually. What do we have for Libra? the lovers you it flipped on its own you saw it so we have the two of cups and the lovers together libra this is something and of course we have that true love and past life relationship over here look at this so i'm definitely getting libra that this is um a deep soulmate kind of a connection okay maybe you have tried to drift apart from this person and you have tried to move on but it's something about this connection and this person that keeps you stuck and the reason is that it, there is something about it it is a soulmate connection okay i feel like both of you have crossed paths because you're supposed to learn a lesson and it's a journey at the end of the day libra this is love showing up for you this is somebody who wants to offer you love as well as make things right with you. Okay. Yeah, you hope to do the same thing with the lovers and three of pentacles. You would like to work things out as well. I feel like both of you don't know. <laughs> both of you just don't know, but at the same time, your energies are very much mutual, Libra. Now, of course, if your person is you know blocking you deleting you and these this energy doesn't seem to be like your person's energy then this is not your reading i'm very honest okay but if anything um that i said resonated then i definitely feel like this person really wants you but i feel like this person also resists big time okay maybe you met this person through work or work is a big thing here for you and them okay Ooh, okay maybe third party was the um cause of all of this okay there was involvement of a third party from somebody's end but I definitely feel like whatever happened between the two of you even affected your just normal relationship with one another. I feel like in the past you would at least talk to one another, but maybe something happened here that you guys are not even communicating with one another. Point blank period. Okay. I feel like Libra, you want to make something right, but you just don't know if it's going to go anywhere. I see you being very bold and achieving your dreams and stuff this month. But when it comes to love, there is something bothering you. With the death energy, there is some sort of a transformation here going on. What's coming up for Libra, please? What's coming up for Libra? We have the moon in the reverse with the nine of wands in the reverse. Tower at the bottom of the deck. You know what? This is giving you a message that something is going to unfold very unexpectedly for you, Libra. Okay? And with the moon in the reverse, it's like something is going to be revealed. Okay. I'm getting that message big time that something will be revealed, okay? And it's going to be very unexpected. It's going to be very like, um, I don't know, like things are going to unfold for you in a way where you will know why it happened in the first. Something is just going to be very clear for you. 
point blank period. I'm hearing the word crystal clear. Okay, so something will become crystal clear for you and then you'll be able to decide about it, whether to go on with it or not, something of that sort. Absolutely, Libra. Look at this, Ten of Swords and then the Ace of Swords. So I really don't feel like the situation between the two of you has ended. I feel like there is going to be communication between the two of you. But there needs to be honest, you know, there needs to be that honest confession here. Somebody needs to bring honesty into the situation. With the Ten of Swords, you know what, Libra, your energy is like, I'm tired of it, but I still want this. So what do I do about it? But maybe it's not for me. But I still want this. Something of that sort. And I feel like there is going to be clarity. This is again the truth with the Ace of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords both here. There is a brand new beginning in love for you. Yeah, I feel like your person is going to open up to you, King of Swords in the reverse. But at the same time, I'm also getting Libra that sometimes this person can have, um, you know, ego issues. I feel like at some point you both have mirrored each other's behavior. Okay, you have done certain things, they have done certain things. And there's so much desire on both of y'all's part to make things happen. But the... The energies are just no, you know, in support of it sometimes. It's the wrong timing sometimes. I feel like maybe you've tried to meet up with this person and make things right. And it's just that things just, something comes up, you know. But this is a very deeply rooted connection. More than you can, you know, assume it to be with the Two of Cups and the Lovers. This is something deeper. You may have noticed that you don't feel for another person the same way you feel for them. And let me tell you something. Your person really hopes to make things right with you as well. It's time to take action, Aries energy. So you're being told to take an action towards something. It could be any area of your life, not just love. Um, I do feel like your person's waiting for your text message or your call or some sort of an action to, from you. Okay. Emotions are running high. Absolutely, Libra. Bring love into the situation. So, instead of closing off, bring love into the situation. And yes, I know that, you know, both of you are wanting this, but somebody has to initiate. Who's going to break the silence here? Actually, you know... Let's see. Any card for how things are unfolding for Libra? Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There is definitely something. Ooh, the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to talk about this in a bit, but Libra, look at this. I see your money looking good, but be careful of reckless spending, okay? That's your side message. But I really feel like there's something new unfolding for you. We have Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles right underneath that. This is something stable and it is going to be a fresh start for you. But what, what does that fresh start require? It requires for the past situation to... It's either that you have to work on your past issues and let them go. To be able to experience this why because at the end of the day you both make each other happy with the sun energy okay you both make each other happy that's it libra we will see in the extended how this will unfold for you do check out the link in the description box to find out what's happening next in this connection how's your person thinking feeling about you and what does spirit want you to know 
Um, you can also check out your 2021 forecast if you're interested. And yes, do give this video a like if you enjoyed the message. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Okay, take care of yourself, Libra. See you next time. Bye-bye.